Hey, it's Mr. Estrada here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to rotate a figure with a protractor and a compass. Before I do that, let me go ahead and show you an example of what that would look like. Here we have a pre-image, that's like our original image, and you can see that it's being rotated about this yellow dot in this um, circular fashion. So it's being rotated 180 degrees counterclockwise. So some things to keep in mind for any rotation is that rotations preserve the original size of the figure. So if the size of the figure changed, we know we did something wrong in our process. We always assume that a rotation is counterclockwise unless we're told otherwise. And we need to be told how much we're rotating if that's what the task is and what point we're rotating about. So in our example, we are told to rotate this figure 75 degrees about point Z. Now before I begin, you need three things to do a rotation. You need your compass, you need your protractor to measure the angles, and you need a straight edge. And I can get away with this without the straight edge because I'm doing this on a computer screen where I can draw perfect lines. All right, so let's get to it. I'm going to let the beat drop, and I'm going to show you how we do this. So we're going to first connect point Z to point A. And it's okay if I go over the point. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my protractor, and I'm going to place it perfectly um, so that the zero degree mark aligns with that line that I just drew where I connected Z and A. So you see how it's perfectly placed, the bullseye right there, and you can see it aligns perfectly with the zero degree mark. And then next, I'm gonna have to measure that angle of rotation, 75 degrees. Since I'm going counterclockwise, I'm gonna measure it down this way, 75 degrees. So that's 75 degrees right there. Then take um, your pen and just mark off 75 degrees right there. And then after you mark that off, you're going to take your straight edge and you're going to connect point Z to that, to that little mark you just made. Let's get that protractor out of the way for a second. This is where our compass comes in because we're actually going to use our compass to measure uh, the point Z to point A. I'm going to use a different color for this. Uh, we're going to use it to measure point Z to point A. And here's where we actually rotate it. Uh, we don't need to, to draw the, that whole arc. We don't need all that arc. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo that. We just need the part where it intersects with that line that I just sketched. If you want to do the whole arc, that's cool. I'm not going to do it because it, it looks a little messy. Um, and since this is an introductory video, I don't want to make it look messy. So uh, that point of intersection right there, I'm going to call it A prime. So that's, so I did it. I just rotated point A 75 degrees about point Z. So what I just did right there, I'm going to do that for point B and point C. So that's basically what you're going to see for the rest of the video. I'm going to do those same exact steps, except now I'm going to do it for point B and point C respectively. So I'm going to do point B first. So I'm going to connect Z to B. Take my protractor, my handy dandy protractor, and uh, I'm going to place it perfectly so that that zero degree mark aligns perfectly with that line I just sketched. All right, sometimes this takes a little bit of uh, trial and error. There it is. I can see it aligns perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and measure 75 degrees. So here it is, 75 degrees. Mark it off. Um, use a red mark for that one. Mark it off. And then um, take a straight edge and connect point Z to that mark you just made. Get that protractor out of the way for a little bit. Take our compass and measure from point Z to point B, the, that original point B where it was. So I have to 
adjust my compass a little bit there it is right there and then I'm gonna swing an arc so that I intersect that line there's the intersection that's my point B prime one more point aren't you so glad we did this for a triangle and not a uh, four-sided or five-sided figure all right so now uh, take your straight edge connect point Z to point C Z to C a little bit of a mouthful but I get it done C to C and uh, once we do that we have to measure our angle of rotation so I need to take my protractor place it right there I have to align it perfectly with the zero degree mark so sometimes it takes a little wiggling I think that did it right there you could no not quite right I have to just a little more okay almost there right there sometimes I'm a little bit of a perfectionist so you could see right there right that zero degree mark aligns perfectly well not quite there I think I think right there it aligns perfectly with that line so now I have to measure off 75 degrees whoops let's undo that so let's go ahead and measure 75 degrees whoops I just moved it a little bit so there's the zero degree mark let's measure 75 degrees right there we're gonna make a mark right there and let's take a straight edge and connect from Z to that 75 degree mark and we are almost at the finish line let's take our compass connect Z to C so I'm gonna have to adjust a little bit right there whoops let's undo that see I have the benefit of, of undo which is nice all right so you can see right there I measured Z to C and I'm gonna have to swing an arc and there is my point C prime notice that the new points that get rotated uh, the rotation of A is point A is A prime the rotation of B is B prime the rotation of C is C prime those are like our those are our new points that's how we call them to distinguish them from the original points so all that's left to do now is take a straight edge and connect A to B excuse me A prime to B prime B prime to C prime and C prime to A prime and we are done so uh, as you will see if you look further um, our rotation does in fact preserve the size you can see that the size of the original figure is preserved um, and that's what should happen when you when you rotate a figure so uh, those are just um, some basic steps to perform rotations I hope